Welcome back, Warriors. Yours truly, Sergeant Survival, back at it again with another anime modded series. So today, well, last episode or the last video I did was the first episode of Dragon Ball, well, Dragon Block C. This time we are going back again with the Demon Slayer. So last time we got bodied a lot, but this time, now that we are wiser and better than we were before, we are going to have at it again. So guys, let me know if you guys like the animated modded series. Again, this one is Demon Slayer. The last one was Dragon Block C, so a Dragon Ball Z mod. Um, I did ask in that video if you guys want me to explain how to like download and like use those type of mods, I can do that. It's not really that difficult. There are definitely a lot better. There are definitely other videos that explain how to do it. Um, but yeah. So as I said last time, depending on the response, because I still have people watching the first series, like the first go through. So since it's been getting a lot of attention, we are going to go at it again. Now, I, I know what you're thinking. Sergeant Survival, you've been playing a lot of other games as well. And I have. But you also have to understand that there are other games out there that I would like to play. But we're going to stick with what works for us. So for now, we are going to play anime mods, which are pretty cool. Um, so yeah, for this series, we are going to attempt to like actually survive in this world. So we are literally going to become the strongest demon slayer ever. We're going to defeat everybody including everyone who bodied me for in season one like this is season two like this is season two of our demon slayer playthrough all right so again the demon slayer mod which i will link in the description below i will try to do that every time um and i have biomes of plenty journey map you know just the usual i have a set of mods i always use whenever I'm playing a game. And I also have creative mode on, or not creative mode, I have the ability to go into creative mode just in case something goes wrong. Because I learned my lesson the hard way. Now, again, with this mod, we have to become a demon slayer first. So that means we have to find a demon, a demon we can kill, and we need to body them. So let's find some stones so we can make a weapon first. Uh, there we go. But Warriors, how is your day going? I hope it is going fantastic. I know a lot of people have had spring break. We just finished spring break at my college. It was kind of short-lived, but you know, it's like that bittersweetness. Like, I'm close to graduating, so I'm like, yeah, I'm almost done. But then it's like, I'll never have a spring break again, ever, ever again. Kind of sad, but you know, it is what it is. We all grow up and we hate life. We all go through this cycle. But yeah, how was your spring break? If you've already done it, if you haven't already done it, are you looking forward to it? And summer's right around the corner. So you guys got any plans aside from being inside and, you know, playing Minecraft? Another thing, too, like, I don't know what is going on. Like, we got the war going on with Ukraine. We got Will Smith slapping people. I'm like, this is, like, this week is just weird. But... I digress. So, again, the plan for this, like, for this mod is, again, to survive in this world. So, we are not, we are not taking on anything until we are 100% confident that we can. Now, I'm seeing some red things in the forest. I don't think those are demons. I think those are probably, like, creepers or, yeah, yeah, yeah zombies so i can't get a like a demon slayer sword from him so he's just a waste of time oh something just spawned over there fantastic i need some supplies out of my way peasant yeah what's this this is so cool i do like the fact that things will spawn but it's so weird when they just come out of nowhere and that's what really messes up with the performance sometimes 
But again, that's, you know, that's like one of those things that's like, eh, eh, so it's, it's acceptable. I understand. It is not like that other mod or some mods where it's like, oh, yeah. Like, okay, if I had to say my only pet peeve when it comes to mods, like if all mods, oh, this is a lot of material. I don't need all this, but I need this. This is used for making, <gasps> give me that, you clay bricks. Uh, I might have a use for that later. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to, you know what? Instead of doing that, just take the chest. Yeah. Because I'm going to need chest later. Okay. I still need to find somewhere to live. So let me not get too crazy with it. Ooh, what's this? Let me in. Oh, futons. Hold on. Let me take one of these. These things are absolutely beautiful. Um, These are all empty. So that means they're perfect for taking. But yeah, a lot of times what I judge a mod on are typically a few things. Like, there are some things you cannot control. There's just some things you can't control. You try to adapt as close to the anime as possible. I don't judge on that. Because, number one, I've never made a mod before. I've never... Well, good lord. Yes. Give me all that. This is food for days. Watch, I'm going to get folded and lose everything that I just... Ooh. Okay, I'm having too much fun here, but... Ooh. Can I take this with me? I can. And I can place it down. Bro, give me that. Yeah, you're coming with me. I don't think you can, like, take those, but that's okay. But as long as I have a futon, that means I can at least advance the time. This, this is really cool. So, yeah. Like, how some people are with, like, anime adapt, you know, adaptations. Like, oh, how close is it to the actual anime? I'm not that person. Because, again, oh, my God. What is with this? I'm getting all these chests and I'm getting all these material. All these materials. Now, technically, I don't need gold, but it's nice to have. Uh, just some barrels, okay. Um, but yeah, so I'm not that guy. I'm not that kind of person that's like, oh, I am looking for every single fault within this adaptation. I'm not that person. Because again, I don't know how hard it is to make something. I know how hard it is to animate because, it, believe it or not, if you guys were around at the beginning of my channel, I originally was an animation channel. But animation takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of effort. And I, being in school, I don't have the time or the manpower to do something as intricate as animation. I, I just can't do it. I'm going to be honest. I would rather produce quality content than just produce something and hope people like it. I'm, I, no, no, no. I'm not that kind of person. I want to do my best. Now, I know people are, you know, pretty understanding, but, you know, again, I'm my worst critic. I'm going to take the railroad tracks. Now, nah, give me that. That's actually pretty creative. Uh, rabbit stew. I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take that. I have plenty of, um, I have plenty of other stuff. Okay, so this is pretty cool. But those two things that I judge on is, again, most of the time, the mechanics. Like, how like how did they try to, be, you know, get as close to the anime as possible? Again, it doesn't have to be 100%, but what did they do? Like, you can't call this a Demon Slayer mod when it doesn't even have, if it doesn't have swords in it. You, you get what I'm saying? Like, that's how I see it. It's almost like it can't be called Dragon Ball Z if you can't, like, power up. Like, that's literally the cornerstone of the whole thing. Yo, back off. Yeah. I just hit him once. Um, now, the problem is... Okay. Only came this way because I saw this. I've yet to find... Oh, they're all spawning under here. Okay. What what is going on? What is this? Okay. Uh, this could be a bad idea, but what I can do is I have a futon. 
Uh oh, it's already starting. I need to. S I'm not ready to fight a demon yet. I don't even have a place to stay. Uh oh. Stay away. Ow. What is going on? What is that effect? That keeps appearing out of nowhere. Okay. I can find a futon. Wait, what? Wait, I became a demon slayer without killing a demon? What? Hold on, hold on. I am so confused. Oh, wait. Out of the way. Are you serious? We just started. Uh, uh. So now that I'm a demon slayer, I have super speed. Now let's see what kind of, let's see what breathing we get. I'm curious. Okay. What do we get? Moon? Okay. Last time we got, um, like, like flame breathing or, you know, Hinokami. Hinokami Kagura. But this time we have moon. Oh, it was that guy who kept freaking folding me. If you guys saw like the first the first season, you'll know who I'm talking about. This really tall dude with multiple eyes. He, if I'm not mistaken, he uses moon breathing. So we can change the forms. Oh, I didn't even have to change it to English. That must be an update. What is that? Did something else just spawn in? Okay. Okay, so let's try it out. Oh, and I also have the animations on. Um, so Dark Moon Evening Palace. What was that? That wait, 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 what does that look like? Oh, okay. Um Second form. Pearl Flowers Moon Gazing. Okay, how's that look? Wait. Okay. Uh next one. Third form. Lonesome Moon Chains. Okay, so that's like a remote kind of thing. Okay. Uh, next one. Fifth form. Moon Spirit Cal Calamitous Eddy. Okay, so that's an AoE. Next one. Sixth form. Perpetual Night. Lonely Moon. Ooh, okay, that one looks pretty powerful. And that's it. Okay. I wasn't expecting anything but okay cool all right so now we need to find somewhere to stay we'll worry about missions later now again the last time i just found like a temple that was out in the middle of nowhere and then i just lived there which is also still an option hey you come here i need a bed like an actual bed were there more of you oh get out of here I'm not wasting... Oh, that particle effect is really cool, too. I didn't notice that. Okay, 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 okay. You too. Come to daddy. Yeah, give me that. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But as I was saying, before I got distracted, if you're, like, really strong... Whoa! Y'all just... Y'all saw that, too. That literally scared the crap out of me. Why does this keep happening? Okay, that's probably the only annoying mechanic of this. Th this is pretty stupid. I'm literally just living my life and then I almost get crushed. Ooh. She. Yeah. Okay, I need one more. I love how the animals weren't hurt. Uh, no, you're not important. Oh, there's two of you. It's not very strong. Well, I'd still need to get stronger. Again, it's cool, but at the same time, it's kind of annoying. Because, like, I'm just living my life, and then something like that drops on my head. Like, how do I prevent that from happening if I have a base? That would be tragic if I'm building a base, and then one of those just, like, pops up out of nowhere. Did another one spawn, too? Oh, my goodness. 
See, this is why I made my home at a... Uh, there's another one spawned. Oh, my God. Stop this. Uh, okay, this needs to stop. So, let's see. I'm trying to find somewhere to live. I think I want to build near the ocean, if possible. That would be ideal. Um, Because, again, last time we just found a house and we just stayed there. Again, that is also a strategy, but I also feel as if, like... If I'm going to survive and this is like I'm treating this as Minecraft, what is this? I have a lot of trash in my inventory. Can I, what does that say? I, I can't read that. Um, but Minecraft, one of the you know greatest joys of it is the ability to build. So I'm not going to use that. I can use material from it, but I'm not going to use that as a home this time. So let's see if we can find somewhere cool to build. Oh, a village. I, I've i literally been like experiencing all these structures and forgot that villages were a thing. Ooh. I could work with this. Okay, yeah. I think we'll build here. Now, the only thing... Maybe I could build... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's build up on that. You know what? Let's do it here. We're going to make... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that. We're going we're gonna to build here. So we're going to tear some things down. We're going to... You know, terraform, do all that good jazz. And then we are going to call this home. So before we... Does I'm just spawn in here? Oh, God. All right. Before we end for today, let us... We're just going to set up a few things here real quick. Let's just make a few torches so we can light up the area. So I do not want any unwanted visitors on my island. Because, again, this is my safe place. Just a few. Uh, I was like, did I use up all of my... I know I didn't. Just going to make the... I don't know. No, I don't want to use up all of my coal. A good majority of it. Okay. Whew. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and put most of this stuff away in here so we don't lose anything. And then we're going to go have some fun real quick. Some games are not, you know, treated well. They're just kind of like, oh, crap. How? How? How are you the first demon I run into? Okay. I just, I need like fodder. I need fodder, not that free. What is that? What is that? What was that? What the? No. Not you. Run. I need help. Uh, a creeper? Okay. That was not a creeper that killed me, but sure. All right, so now I need to go back and get my stuff. Well, we're starting off fantastic, actually. Okay, I should have done the... Um, I'll probably add the graveyard... Like the, not the graveyard, but the gravestone mod as well. So that way I know for sure that when I die, my stuff will be there. Because I don't know where my stuff is. A bone, okay. Oh, the creeper blew it up. Okay. Well, we're starting off fantastic, actually. Well, I think that's going to be it, Warriors. Again, like the video if you like it. Comment down below your favorite part, how you like the mod, how you like Demon Slayer, how you like anime in general. And I hope you are enjoying the rest of your Saturday. Now, Warriors, enjoy the rest of your day and keep rising.